Welcome back to the CSC Garage. Today we're going to be looking at the Wiz and how to remove the controller. Sometimes you need to do troubleshooting or maintenance on your Wiz. This is an easy way to get to the controller. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket, 8 millimeter socket. So come on, let's get started. Now to gain access to the compartment we want to get to, first we'll use the ignition key to open up the seat compartment. And now we want to remove the battery. It's easily done. We're going to lift up the lid, disconnect the charging cable, unplug the controller cable, and then we're going to need the Phillips screwdriver to get these two screws out for the power cord. We're going to pull out the connector. Sometimes it's a little stiff, so you could use your screwdriver to help pry that out. Get that out of the way and just lift the battery straight up out of the compartment. So in this compartment, we've got an eight millimeter head screw here, one here. We've got one here, one here, and then these two holding the lid on. So we're gonna remove all of those. A lot of times it's easier to go ahead and get the lid out of the way by removing these two first. We can get the lid out. Now we have access to these two, easy. And now the bottom. We also have two 10 millimeter nuts and one Phillips screw. Now we're gonna wanna just lift up, gently push the wires out, and we can remove the whole assembly. A uh, couple of places you wanna check electrical connections whenever you're troubleshooting. Get this plug out of the way. That's not plugged to anything, it's moved out of the way. So on the controller, there's one small connection, and you'll notice it is directional. They're rounded edges, so when you plug back in, you want to match those with the rounded edges on the controller. You can pull that out, make sure the pins are connected, make sure you've got one, two, three, four, five metal pins. These are the female side, and then you've got the six pins down here. You also have this large plug, and same way, you squeeze the two sides to unlock it, pull it out, and you'll notice the top here, there's two slots. Those face the right side of the whiz. So when I put it back on, I'll make sure those two slots follow the outside edge. Not all of the holes have pins in them. We've got one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen female pins. These pins are glued in the back, but sometimes one might be loose. Always check, visually check, make sure that you have the metal pins fully pushed in. And when you reattach the connector, you want to make sure you don't bend any of these male pins coming off the controller. So make sure everything's aligned correctly. 
push down for a secure connection when you're reconnecting those. I'm gonna get these out of the way for just a moment. There are a few other electrical connectors that can be checked back here. Any of these plugs can be pulled apart and inspected to make sure the pins are straight, make sure that these are securely fastened. Now, if you wanted to remove the controller, the first thing you're gonna do is take the protective cover off of it. All right, so we're gonna remove these Phillips screws. And now the plastic cover. Each of these will also be removed. And you'll notice that these are color coordinated. The red circle of the controller goes to this white wire, which has two wires going into it, the white and the black. The yellow wire is paired with the yellow circle. The green wire is paired with the green circle, blue with blue. And then finally the black circle or bare circle with this thicker, larger light green wire. To remove the controller from the motorcycle, we'll now remove one, two, and three Phillips screws. Now these have small nuts under the bottom. You can put your hand under the controller panel to catch the nut. So we have the little nut and then the longer Phillips screw holding those three corners. Pay special attention to this corner. The front left corner also has a wire grounding to the controller there. So when you reinstall your controller, you wanna make sure that's connected again. And this is that wire. And now for the final screw in this back corner. and we're able to pull the controller out. Now, once we get the controller out of the way, we have a little more access under here. So there's a couple more plugs we'll check just to make sure they're secure. There's one. We can pull back these. These are small, just quick disconnect plugs. Check the pins on each of these plugs. Make sure there's a solid connection. Same thing, we've got five pins, five female, secure connection. And this is just a capped off plug, no need to remove that one. And remember, we did have the blank plug that wasn't connected to anything. So those are some places you can troubleshoot just to verify that you have secure connections for all your electrical system. Another place to troubleshoot is this circuit breaker. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna pull this up. 
There's a wire going in and a wire going out of this breaker. It's in the on position, off position. These two screws clamp down, pinching the wire. Sometimes I've seen these actually being pinched on top of the heat shrink rather than the metal surface. So an easy way to verify that is to loosen the screw. Doesn't need to come all the way out and check your connector. And I'll pull this away so we can see. And so essentially this metal piece needs to be firmly secure and under the other metal set screw. All that goes on behind this rubber carrier. That's how it's gonna secure in there. So I'm going to visually verify that this metal tab is actually going in between the two pieces of metal prior to screwing back down. And check the other side as well. Thanks for joining us once again at the CSC Garage. We hope this video gives you some useful tools on how you can inspect, check, or troubleshoot your Wiz. Uh, this was the first part in the second series. We're going to look at the removal of the front two panels and how to access behind the dash your lights up front. Until then, enjoy the ride.